Hey guys, it's Nick from this here. A few months ago, before Peacemaker's release, I had made a prediction video on him discussing ideas for his moveset and overall appearance in Mortal Kombat 1. A lot of people seem to enjoy that video, and I love calling things ahead of time, so I'm doing the same thing today, but with Homelander. At the time of recording, we have absolutely nothing on Homelander, but I expect there's a good chance we'll get an intro tease at the end of Ermac's trailer, like how we got a Peacemaker intro at the end of Quan Chi's trailer. Ermac should be releasing sometime this month, so it's only a matter of time. This video will contain light spoilers from the boys, but I'll try to avoid going into too much detail. The only thing we know so far is that Anthony Starr is not voicing Mortal Kombat's version of Homelander. The actor who plays Homelander confirmed he won't be reprising his role for MK, which is a real shame. It was pretty epic that NRS had Peacemaker and Omni-Man voiced by their respective actors. It's been speculated by fans that a voice actor named Chris Cox will be taking over for Homelander in this game, as he did the Terminator impression voice in Mortal Kombat 11, and his name is found in the credits despite not being linked to a character yet. Ermac and Takeda's voice actors have already been confirmed, so by order of elimination, it has to be Homelander. When the guest characters were first announced for MK1, I saw some people complaining about how Homelander and Omni-Man will be too similar playstyle-wise, and I say those people are uneducated. Sure, they're both parallels of Superman, but they fight completely different in their respective universes. Omni-Man is a hands-on brute, crushing his foes with his overwhelming strength and speed, while Homelander focuses a lot more on his laser vision, which is a trait Omni-Man doesn't have. I expect Homelander to be more of a zoner character, using his flight to get away from opponents opposed to getting up close like Omni-Man does. I also expect Homelander to be more evasive when he does get up close, throwing the opponent around instead of straight up brawling like Omni-Man. Homelander isn't a martial artist and doesn't do well in hand-to-hand -hand combat unless the person is much weaker than him. In Season 3, we see Homelander use a sonic boom type of scream to get the boys off his back, which I can see being one of his special attacks in-game. Most important of all, what will Homelander's fatalities be? There's an iconic kill from the show where he slowly burns a hole through someone's skull with his eye lasers. That's a must-have for MK1. Truthfully, both of Homelander's fatalities will probably involve his eye lasers, as that's usually how he's depicted killing people in the show. Maybe slicing them in half, or even maiming their limbs? If NRS wants to get away from the lasers for both fatalities, which I kinda hope they do, they can always have him punch a hole through the opponent's abdomen like he does to a certain someone in Season 3, who I won't name to avoid spoilers. Another hands-on kill is the way he rips off a criminal's jaw in The Boy's Diabolical, the animated spin-off. That would be epic. Maybe NRS could blend the two, having Homelander punch a hole through the opponent and rip their jaw off while they're screaming in agony. There's lots of options. A good fatal blow for Homelander is the way he claps Blindspot's head, crushing his skull and rendering him deaf with blood gushing from his ears. If not for his fatal blow, it would make for a great brutality. I'm excited to see Homelander's childish, narcissistic, smug personality shine in the character intros, and I'm also curious what his arcade ending will be. I expect there to be some references to characters in The Boys, like The Deep in Intros Against Rain, Queen Maeve in Intros Against Sindel, etc. I can't wait to hear Peacemaker and Homelander roast each other too. This is probably a shot in the dark, but I would love to see an intro between Homelander and Omni-Man referencing this dialogue from their Death Battle episode. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. Country? Seriously? I'm not here for your country. Fingers crossed Chris Cox can pull off the delivery for Homelander's lines, and these intros will be as great as I'm imagining. So, those have been my predictions for Homelander's Mortal Kombat debut. Did I miss anything you'd like to see in-game? Let me know. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nick from us. see you later.